Welcome to the run of astrology. This is your daily horoscope for 21st June 2021, which is a Monday. But before we begin, I would like to let you know that I do daily video horoscopes that I post on my YouTube channel every single day. I do weekly video horoscopes that I post every single week. And I also do monthly horoscope overviews as well as monthly sunrise and sign horoscopes that I post on my channel as well. You can watch all those and I do request you to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can be informed every time I upload a video. And today is the day after we had a shift in energy yesterday. Yesterday, the sun entered the sign of Cancer and Jupiter went retrograde. And let's see that on the chart first and then we'll move on to the other things. Sun is right here at zero degrees of Cancer at about 2 a.m. Uh, Pacific time on Monday 21st and the sun in cancer is going to be an energy that's going to be more introverted so for the next 30 days we're going to be more receptive more uh, more in line with nurturing ourselves more focused on taking care of ourselves being with close friends and families on self-care as well and this is a good thing that the sun has entered the sign of cancer because until yesterday, the sun was in the sign of Gemini, okay, right here. And in Gemini, we had a lot of energy. The North Node and Mercury retrograde are still there, but the sun was also there. Venus was also there. And Gemini energy is playful, fun, loving. However, it can also be very stimulating, overly stimulating at, at some time. So for the past 30 days, there was a lot going on, especially mentally. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, little things happening in your surroundings, in your immediate environments, perhaps with your siblings or peer groups, or a lot of mental energy. And now the sun moving on will help us focus more on our emotions, on our comfort. What am I comfortable with? Let me take care of myself. Let me nourish myself. Let me, let me receive because Cancer is receptive as well. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is that Jupiter right here went retrograde yesterday. And when Jupiter goes retrograde, the lessons that come along when Jupiter is direct ease off. It's the time where we reap the rewards for the work we've already put in. So that's what's going to happen. With Jupiter, it's, it's not as clear because Jupiter, even when it's direct, it brings gifts, it brings rewards, it brings healing, it brings lessons. But when it goes retrograde, those lessons ease off and the gifts still continue, but, but more connected to something you've already worked on, something that you've already received in some way, shape or form. And now it's another little gift connected to something that happened in the past. So these are the other two things as we enter Monday and we spoke about another thing that happens today and it is that Venus at 7 a.m. is going to trine. Let's see that, trine Neptune, okay? So Venus is right here at 23.12 and Neptune is right here at 23.11. They're trining 120 degree angle, which is positive and this could be an extremely magical feeling connected to a love relationships self-worth, values, skills, finances, projects. Or it could be a feeling of, yeah, this relationship is in alignment with my spirituality. Or yeah, this project is aligned with my higher calling. Something like that, you know, all Venus related, related things that I just mentioned will align with the higher realm, with, will align with the spiritual path. And that starts, it comes exact at about 7 a.m. Pacific time. And that's the highlight of the day. And then moving on to 7 p.m., the moon's going to move on. Let me clean up the chart and then we'll see that. Hang on. So at 7 p.m. Pacific time, we have a grand, tri grand trine in water. So the moon at 23 degrees of Scorpio will trine Venus 120 degree angle. Venus is trining Neptune 120 degree angle. And Neptune will trine the moon 120 degree angle. Now, this is definitely a very positive moment for our emotions. It's a magical moment for our emotions. At this point, at about 7 p.m., all Venus-related things, love, self-worth, value, skills, finances, relationships, business, partnerships, even legal issues, will seem to have a very 
magical spiritual element to it and emotionally also we will feel very positive we will feel very spiritual because it's a grand trine in water it's all about our emotions and with venus there it connects to all our relationships our projects our finances our self worth values and skills and with neptune there it's definitely the higher realm it's definitely connected to spirituality there is a spiritual element at this point whether it's connected to our emotions the moon or whether it's connected to our projects self worth values skills relationships finances things but it's definitely there yeah and then moving on let me clean up the chart and we'll keep it as short as possible i said that yesterday also but it ran for about 15 minutes but today we'll keep it a little short because today is one of the easier days of the week okay 22nd mercury comes out of retrograde 24th we have the full moon in capricorn venus is going to oppose pluto we have neptune going retrograde by the end of the week on june 25th and then uh, something else happens on june 27th i don't remember exactly what but this is one of the easier days of the week okay so we'll keep it short and at about midnight midnight technically tomorrow but midnight the moon is going to sextile pluto 60 degree angle positive now this is a positive transformation positive healing positive catharsis positive regeneration to something connected to our emotions and it could be related to intimate relationships it could be related to investments it could be related to something that is very karmic at a personal level because scorpio is also personal karma and that's pretty much the whole day so it's a positive day it's a very positive day we have venus trining neptune we have a grand trine in water we have the moon sextile in pluto however at 2 am before the morning comes before venus and uh, neptune trine we do have moon squaring saturn and that might feel slightly challenging that might feel slightly stressful it may require us to take some sort of decision make a change but that happens at 2 am and it's in my yesterday's video so you can watch that if you want to know more and that's all i'm going to say for today so today is a great positive day and now i'll give you a brief background and the background is not things that have happened in the past it's more like the um background layer the under underlying current of what's going on and the first energy that we are still feeling is that of the saturn pluto conjunction these two planets met up in january 2020 and when they meet up they change things in very powerful ways and that's what happened in january of 2020 something changed in our life in our material reality in a very powerful way and that change we're still trying to understand it we will understand it completely with the full moon in capricorn on june 24 but we are still trying to understand it to make sense of it build on that cycle because this is a long cycle cycle that started in jan 2020 and it will stay with us till 2053 so right now it's just the beginning and we are laying the foundation for that that's the first underlying thing the second underlying thing is the saturn jupiter conjunction these two planets meet, meet up once in 20 years and when they meet up they begin a new cycle and they met up in december of 2020 beginning a new cycle and we will lay the foundation for this cycle in the next two years so that's the second underlying thing that we're going through now the third underlying thing that we're going through all this is subtle but it's all playing out in the background is the saturn uranus square 90 degree angle and this energy we're feeling after 21 years and this energy is all about getting rid of all things that don't serve you embracing the new embracing change and embracing your uniqueness your unique self and we'll feel this energy all of 2021 and even into 2022 and on june 14th the square came exact which means right now we are at a time in the year where this energy is felt very very intensely the last underlying layer that i will talk about is the north node and in gemini and the south node in sag they were in 
uh, Gemini and Sag between 2001 and 2003, and the nodes are karmic. So whatever situations, themes, people, events that came into your ba life back then, they might be coming in back into your life again. Or similar themes might be happening. And that's for you to resolve or review or to build on because these nodes are karmic. And that's all the background I will give. And now I'll pick a card and then we'll wrap up the reading. Because we do have a, an intense week that we will speak about in depth. But today we can keep it short. Okay. It says loyal heart. And this card is a card of lovers. We can see two owls, I think they're owls, and they're loyal to one another and they're in love. It's also soulmates. So I don't I don't know why we're getting this energy today. I think perhaps we have to stay loyal to our path. We have to stay loyal to who we are, our uniqueness. And maybe today is the day where we we'll actually need to be loyal in certain ways. But I'm going to pick another card to clarify this one because it's not very clear to me. Okay. It says all that glitters. One more. And it says co-create. So three cards, loyal heart, all that glitters and co-create. So I think I told you what loyal heart meant. That stay loyal to your path because we have all that glitters waiting for us by the time we build in the next two years. And I think co-create because we are co-creating with the universe right now with so many cycles building. Starting, we are creating. And it's not that we are not playing an active part. We are very much playing an active part in creating that life. And today I think is a day where we need to stay loyal to our path, to ourselves, to our uniqueness. Because in the future, we'll have all that glitters for us, a positive outcome. And have a great day. Do hit the subscribe button and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.